Good afternoon, Facebook, um, or wherever you're watching this live. Welcome to What, Why, When. I'm Bailey. I'm the naturalist intern um, for Buchanan County Conservation. Coming from you here at Fontana with the beautiful lake behind us. Today, we're going to be talking about a really cool mammal that is pretty special in a number of ways. We are going to be talking about bats today. Now, most people don't like bats, but bats are pretty cool animals. They are mammals, and they're the only mammal that can fly. Now, you might be thinking, oh, what about flying squirrels? They don't actually fly, they glide. Bats are the only mammals that can truly fly, and their wings are pretty special. So I've got a dead bat that we keep in our freezer and we use it for programmings that I'm gonna show you guys and I'll show you how cool their wings are because they're pretty special. So here's our bat. This thing is a little brown bat and it is a male. Let's see if I can bring it up here so you guys can see it better. Ah, sorry. And their wings are like our hands and arms. This bone up here is their arms and up here it's kind of sticking down. Let's see if I can see it better on the other side. There. That right there is like their thumb. And then, see if I can spread this out. It's kind of hard doing this one-handed. But you can see their bones. It's like their fingers. And they've got really membranous wings that they use to fly. Another really cool adaptation on bats is their ears. And get it back so you can see it. They've got really big ears that they use for echolocation. Does anybody know who's watching what echolocation is? I'll wait to see if anybody responds. Well, I'll let you know. Echolocation is when bats or other animals call out really loudly and then listen for the echo as it bounces off bugs and other bats and trees so that they can find their way in the dark. Because while they're not blind, like some people think, they do have really tiny eyes, which you can't even really see on him because they're covered up by his fur. And they can't quite see at night. But they've adapted and evolved a way that they can see at night. So today, my question for you guys is why, why do you think bats hang upside down? They hang upside down like this by their feet, which are teeny tiny. And they hang upside down. That's how they sleep. That's how they hang out. They just hang there by their toes. Why do you guys think that is? I'll wait a little bit to see if anybody answers. They kind of just hang there like this. All right, I'll let you guys know. That's so that they can just let go and fly. They just spread out their wings and fly. That's how they've adapted to fly. They don't have to hop up off the ground like birds do. So I'm gonna show you guys our one of our bat boxes here at Fontana, which is out back. It's up this really tall pole and way up there. It's one of our bat boxes that we have and we have quite a few bats that live up in there. We actually just shook the pole today, which you should not do. Only staff doesn't. We only do it every once in a while for certain classes. Because you don't want to disturb bats during the day because they are nocturnal. They like to sleep, but all of them are hanging upside down in there. And right around dusk, they'll fly out of there. They'll just drop and fly out. Turn the camera back around. So yeah, bats are really cool. They're not scary. They do carry some diseases, but they don't want to bite you. They want to fly around and eat mosquitoes and other bugs. Um, in a night, they can eat their own body weight in insects, which is thousands of mosquitoes each. So they're really good at keeping insect populations down. Um, what else was I going to let you guys know? Oh. Bats can live for a really long time. 
Um, the oldest bat on record is 40, was 41 years old, but on average they live to be about 20, 25 years old. So they can live a long time and eat lots and lots of bugs. Um, in Iowa we have quite a few different species. The little bat that I showed you is a little brown bat and they are very common um, in Iowa. There's also big brown bats along with some other species that I can't name right off the top of my head but if you guys want to know just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you on that. Let me see. So being mammals, bats do um, give birth to live young and when females give birth they catch their babies. Here, I'll turn the camera back around so you can see the bat. They catch their babies in this little, they've got a little pouch on the end of their, at their tail, their tail pouch that they use to catch their babies and then they'll drink milk. So that, you guys, is all that I have for you on bats today. If you have, it won't focus, focus on the bat. There we go. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will read those and get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.